Let's move to a different type of compute, and that is Ion Q. But but uh, so Ion Q scored a twenty million dollar deal with the University of Maryland, and then uh, two days after uh, made an announcement that said uh, they were tripling their order expectations for twenty twenty one. And uh, so so first off, I just want to say uh, I, I'm kind of smiling because you know we hear often that there's no money in quantum yet, right? Uh, the fun, uh, University of Maryland actually charges cu enterprise customers to come in and use their stuff. And they are known as the, uh, what's a, the most lauded university for quantum in the United States. And, uh, but I couldn't uh, help but to grin uh, when I saw um, the, the tripling order act. And the reason there was a a couple that I talked to the CFO at INQ, and, and basically the reason there was a, a two-day offset between these two announcements is that tripling of order is just not just University of Maryland. Uh, and he didn't say this. These are my expectations that they were probably going to see a couple more uh, design wins, uh, some revenue. I mean, I mean, this company is is on a uh, is on a roll. You know, a, a podcast that you and I enjoy uh, listening to, uh, the um, the All In podcast. I think the word was quantum is uninvestable. I forget exactly uh, which it was one of the mock that, that actually said that, but I could be wrong. But uh, I think they all agreed, actually. Yeah, and it's funny. Uh, I, I was surprised to see at least uh, uh, one of them say that. You know, the scientist uh, of of the group. Uh, but but I think what they're disconnected from is, first of all, none of them understand infrastructure. OK, there's not a single person in the all in pod who understands infrastructure. They all have their different swim lanes. Uh, you and I understand infrastructure. Uh, and, you know, when I see uh, Google Cloud, AWS and Azure laying a bet on a company like IonQ without even having to understand how Paul Smith Goodson, my quantum uh, analyst, Principal analyst, he understands it, uh, but but I don't understand it nearly as well. There's something that's going on there. So overall, I mean, this is good for the industry. Uh, I feel like right now it's almost a three horse race between uh, INQ, uh, IBM, and Honeywell slash uh, Cambridge. Uh, a lot of cool companies coming out with some different ways to uh, to skin this cat that I'm super uh, super excited about. Um, one uh, note here, uh, I think um, in the next couple months, uh, there's going to be a, a SPAC uh, marriage between uh, DMY and uh, INQ in order to, uh, it'll be the first time that public investors can actually invest directly in quantum and uh, dollar sign DMYI. Despacking will they yes. be punished like every other spec on the planet? That's okay. Just think long and don't take anything <laughs> we say as investment advice. Um, real quickly, I'll touch on this because we got one more topic and we only got a few minutes left in the show. Um, look, we are seeing a, a important marriage take place between classical and quantum computing. These things are not going to act independently for a very long time. But the reason Azure Bracket, uh, the reason Microsoft has put Azure uh, Quantum into the cloud. Um, this is happening because there are complex problems that cannot be defined or solved using the current state of classical computing in a timely fashion. Uh, companies like JP Morgan Chase have partnered with companies like Honeywell and, made, and they're making very large spends in investments. This isn't an uninvestable and non-existent business. The problem is, is it is a business that is taking a very long time to mature to reach critical revenue mass. So, some businesses are exponential growth. And so when VCs and venture capitalists talk about it, a lot of times they're looking at what can go from zero to a billion in a couple of years. Um, for quantum, this is one that is more iterative. The improvements are being made every year, but there are architectural improvements. There's been huge movements in terms of the, um, this, the state quality and, 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 and error ratios of the qubits in terms of it, their ability to stay in a useful state longer. And as that continues to happen, the problems we're going to be able to solve are going to become greater. And especially with the marriage with true cloud computing, that's where we're going to see value. So INQ here showed another win. Good for them. Good for the industry. Good for the state. Quantum is going to make a difference. Don't turn your back on it. Keep watching it. Pay attention. More to come.